Hi, welcome to Radha Krishna Health Channel. I am Dr. Vidya Bhatt talking to you about hysteroscopic myomectomy. Now what is this hysteroscopic myomectomy? It is when the myoma is sitting inside the uterine cavity. When it is inside the uterus and we do hysteroscopically, we call it hysteroscopic myomectomy. There are different techniques to do hysteroscopic myomectomy. One is excision, the other one is slicing method, laser ablation. In two settings, we remove the myoma. Through office, we can do it or we can do a complete resection of the myoma through the resectoscope. Now, what is new? Something new we have that is hysteroscopic myomectomy through hysteroscopic morselate. Now what are these hysteroscopic morselators? These are mechanical instruments which we inserted hysteroscopically and then do a myomectomy. Now these hysteroscopic morselators are available in two sizes. One is 5 and the other one is 7 in them. And there are different blades which the hysteroscopy can be a inserted inside the uterine cavity and hysteroscopic myomectomy can be done. Now what are these different two, two different blades? We, the hysteroscopic myomectomy is done for the myoma which is grade 0 and grade 1. Now the advantage is you needn't have to remove the hysteroscope there again and again when compared to the conventional method and also when you are doing hysteroscopic myomectomy the morselator makes the myoma or churns the myoma into small pieces and then it is collected in the collecting system. So you will have a very good vision, you are using normal saline, it is very safe and no electrical energy is used inside the uterine cavity. Now the blades, there are two kinds of blades. One is the rotatory blade and the reciprocating blade. The rotatory blade is for polyps which is soft tissue and the reciprocating blade which is through the oscillatory movements is for the thick fibrous tissue of the myoma. So this is the video which shows a myoma which is not exactly in the uterine cavity but it is just above the internal os. With the conventional method, if you try to do hysteroscopic myomectomy, the water will leak or the fluid will leak or there is lot of discomfort during the procedure and then there will be bits floating into inside the uterine cavity. We are doing this with the morselator and see how beautifully the procedure is done and at the same time, you can take, do a visual um, DNC also. That is, you can do a, and take the endometrium for biopsy, which is called as visual DNC. And you can see that the myoma is completely removed and you get a very nice uterine cavity. So this is the video which shows a myoma, which is not exactly in the uterine cavity, but it is just above the internal os. With the conventional method, if you try to do hysteroscopic myomectomy, the water will leak or the fluid will leak or there is lot of discomfort during the procedure and then there will be bits floating into inside the uterine cavity. We are doing now the advantage is there is no electrical energy used, complete removal of the myoma is there you have enough tissue for histopathology and the very next, next cycle you can use this for or you can use, take the patient for either IUI or IVF. 